Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a big box of coins which I picked up from my local charity shop. Okay so I was told by a friend about this box of coins that was in this charity shop. Now it was all wrapped in like this blue and yellow electrical tape and uh, but there was definitely coins in there so I headed over had a look and the asking price was £20. It was quite a heavy box so I assumed you know, there was going to be a fair amount of coins in there. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly what d denominations and style of coins are going to be in there, but there's definitely some coins. Now, I've waited to record this video to open the box, so this will be the first time that I've had a look at what coins are inside. And, of course, for you guys at home. I'm really, really excited about this. I'm hoping it's going to be a really good video. And, um, yeah, if I don't understand any of the bits and bobs that are inside of this box, I, I shall be leaving some annotations... Um, along the bottom throughout the course of this video now again I'm really excited let's get in this box of coins okay so I started um, taking the electrical tape off and stuff on camera but it was really really sticky and dirty and it wouldn't make for a very pleasant video but I have got it off and I've got the box of coins just here and just off the bat it's looking promising I'm really really excited about getting into this but oh the box I think these coins have been in storage for some time now. Look at the state of the box. I think I'm going to need to wash my hands after this. But I can see some really nice bits and bobs in here already. So let's open the lid. And here we go. I'm going to put this... Um, let's put that there. Just so you can see it on camera. And we're going to start looking through these coins. I could already see something just there. And I'm... Oh my god, that's an alphabet 10 pence piece. Oh, this is looking good. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to shut up and we're going to get through these coins. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm just going to start um, by lucky dipping. And the first thing that has caught my eye is a W for web. And there's a 2019 alphabet 10p coin. What a start. That is amazing. Wow, let's put you down there. This is this is amazing. I'm so excited. Um, okay, next lucky. Let's go for this one. Okay, we've got a Battle of Hastings, 1066, 2016. Not bad. And it looks like got a bit of a rotational rotational stamp just there. It's looking a bit off centre. Again, that's really cool. I'm going to put the 50p's just down there. It might get a bit messy on this table in a minute. Okay, we've got a, a People's Act from 2018. Very nice. Let's put you down there. Okay, what else have we got? Let's um, go for the Battle of Britain, 1940. Again, a bit of rust and a bit of toning on there. And it is a JC. But again, not a bad little coin. Let's put you down there. Again, we've got off to quite a good start so far. Okay, next up, I'm going to try and go for the 50p's first. So we've got another Battle of Britain, and it is JC again. And let's put you on top of there. Let's move this little bit of rubbish that I've got there. Okay, we've got another 50p's. There we go. So we've got a diversity, so this box, 2020, so the box has like, got loads of nice bits in it, but there's a 2020 diversity coin in here. So I'm guessing someone's just been saving these up, and they've put them in any old tub they can find. So let's put you down there. So yeah, nice, not bad at diversity. Okay, let's see what's next, another 50p, oh we've got a Sherlock Holmes. Again, another nice coin from 2019. Very cool. Let's put that down there. Let's keep hunting for these 50p's. Okay, here we go. We've got a Paddington. From 2019. Paddington at St Paul's. Again, a nice design. But a very highly minted. Okay. Okay, we've got another Battle of Hastings from 2016. 
bit of a smudge on there. But again, not a bad coin to have. And you can possibly see the difference. It's very slightly off centre. See that one? And then you can just see the difference there. Yeah, this one's start slightly off centre when it's been when it's been minted. So that's really cool. I might have myself a very, very a very very small battle of Hastings error just there. Okay, let's keep going. We're going strong. Okay, so we've got another Sherlock Holmes from 2019. So let's put you in there. And let's have a Oh, no way. <laughs> no way. No, it can't be. You all know what this means. Oh, God. It's just my luck. It's, n it's not going to be. I'm pretty sure it's going to be something else. But can you imagine if this was a coup? Oh, let's do it. Let's go. Ready? Oh, no, no. Oh, God, I'm nervous. Here we go. Oh, WWF. Still a nice coin. Oh, I really thought that was going to be a coup. Now, I can't be that lucky. I cannot be that lucky. But again, another gorgeous coin. So let's put you down there. Okay, next up, and I've just caught a glimpse of this. Look at that. <laughs> We've got an Isaac Newton. This tub is crazy. Why would people, why would people get rid of tubs like these? It's got to be someone who doesn't really know what these coins are worth. They've obviously just collected them because they've got pictures or designs on them. I can't think of any other reason why people would get rid of these coins. But again, one of my favourite designs it is the Isaac Newton from 2017. And that's an absolute belter. I'm really chuffed with that and Isaac Newton. No way, that is mad. I'm trying not to get too excited um, because... Oh, I just don't want to get hopes up yet. So let's... Oh, here we go. We've got a Taylor of Gloucester. 2018 again I'm sure that'll uh, shine up nicely but again another nice coin now I can see a 2011 let me just have a look see if there's any more there is here we go <laughs> that's an Olympic what oh Jesus Olympic equestrian from 2011 this is mad I'm just oh, I'm, I'm shocked I'm in speech I'm speechless oh, look at that it's in quite a good nick and all of that my first Olympic damn this is good okay let's uh, carry on carry on with the tub I can see another 2011 I'm gonna get that out in a minute let me just make sure there's no other English um, 50p coins no, there's... Oh, I've just found another Olympic. Oh, there's two Olympics. Oh, my God. One. Two. No, that's mad. Well, I, I tell you what, I'm going to put these two just down there for a minute. Let me just make sure there's no other. Because there is some territory 50p's in here. And I just want to take my time with them a little bit more. Because I might not know what some of them are called. Okay, so that's it for the English 50p's. We've got two more Olympics to go. So, so far we've got a uh, 2019 Alphabet 10p and we've got all this lot as well, including the WWF and the Isaac Newton. So, I'm getting close to earning my £20 worth, to be fair. This is amazing. I'm, oh, I just can't wait to see what these uh, two Olympic 50p's are. So, yeah, let's just put ourselves out of our misery and let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to start with this one. 2011 so it is an Olympic any guesses and it is oh, gymnastics very very nice it's in quite good condition as well how about that that is amazing so that's let's put you next to the equestrian Olympics and we've just got one left, so let's have a look. Okay, so we've just got one left, and here it is. So it's 2011. So what we've got so far, an equestrian and a uh, gymnastics. And what could this be? No! <laughs> no way! It's an Olympic triathlon. 
What the hell? Why would anyone get rid of these? What? Oh no, 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 that's mad. That is crazy. A top five Olympic in a box of coins filled with breadcrumbs. What? That is insane. Oh, that's mad. Oh, I'm so chuffed. That has got to be my 20 quid back already. It's got to be. We've got a top five Olympic. And Isaac Newton, WWF. Uh, Taylor Gloucester, maybe. Just over face value. Um, Equestrian. What, what the? Why would anyone chuck these away? I'm just in disbelief. I mean, I'm, look, look at the state of the box. Someone's just chucked these out. They, they really didn't know what these coins were, which is a shame, but... Whew, another man's uh, treasure and all that. Wow. Okay, now... Whew, that is mad. I'm really in shock about what's in this box so far. I can't wait to see what's next. Okay, so let's get on with the rest of the coins, which I believe... What's left in here is territory coins. This is going to be insane. This is mad. Okay, so next up, let's have a look. Well, I know what this one is. So we've got the Bill of Rights. 1689 to 1989. Again, another nice coin. Wow. And it's in really good condition as well. So I'm going to put you down there. Not bad. Okay, so we've got an English pound coin. The old round pound. From 2002. The three lions. Oh, we've got a bit of fluff. Oh. Ah. Fluff. <laughs> Again, very nice. Let's put you down there. This isn't bad so far. We're still going strong. Okay, so let's take a look at some 10 Ps. Okay, so, so we've got the Gibraltar. The Great Siege. 10 pence from 2005. And of course, that is Gibraltar. A little bit of dirt, a tiny little bit of toning above the 10, but again, a very nice coin. Very happy to add that to my collection. And we've got Lighthouse Chicken Rock next. Another nice coin, I do like this. Oh, just look at that, it's a shame we've got a bit of damage on the other side. But this is a gorgeous Isle of Man coin. And what was it, 2015 that one. Again, very nice. Okay, we've got any more 10 P's, or oh, was that it for that? Okay, that's all the 10 P's. Let's uh, start off with the 20 pence pieces. Okay, so there's some 20 pence pieces. I've got a jersey, 20 pence. I've got Elizabeth II, and that is from 2006. If I do forget any of the names of these coins, there will be annotations just below. So again, another really nice coin. Okay, so we have got the Russian clock. Again, another really nice design from the Isle of Man. And that's 2004. This is, this is mad. This is crazy. I mean, absolute dream world here. So we've got the keys. And that's Gibraltar, 2006. That's mad. It's a shame. A lot of these coins have got a, f a little bit of damage here and there. I'm guessing it's just how they've been stored. But again, another really nice coin. Wow. Okay, next up. Okay, we've got another castle or Russian clock. And this one seems to be in a little bit of a better condition. Again, from 2004, was it the same date? Yeah, so 2004. Again, a really nice coin. Okay, let's put you down there. Okay, we've got another 20 pence. Okay, so this is 1996. And this is... Oh, cars. So is this the, the TT Rally or... I've not, I've not seen this one before. 
I've got loads of territory coins, but I've never seen this one. That's from 1996. Some sort of rally. Is it the TT? Alaman TT Rally or? No, that's a TT motorbike racing. I'm getting myself totally confused. I'm just so overwhelmed with all these coins. But yeah, please, someone enlighten me. I've never seen this one. I, I possibly have, but I've not got it in my collection, so. Yeah, wow. Okay, let's put you down there. And I think there's one more. Okay, so what's this one? And lastly, we've got a, another jersey coin. Another 20 pence. And this one's from 2012. Wow. Let's tidy you up a little bit. So there's all the 20 pence pieces. We've got some jersey. Uh, oh, wow. From the Isle of Man. That's just phenomenal. This is just mad. I can't believe what's in here. Okay, so we're moving on to the 50 pence pieces next. And I believe all these are territory coins as well. So let's uh, let's do this. Okay, so first up, um, let's have a look. Oh, here's one now. Milner's Tower. There we go from the Isle of Man, and that is dated 2012. Another nice coin. I'm getting bits all over me. I do apologise. Again, that's that's in really nice condition, and it is a lovely coin. So another territory. That's absolutely brilliant. Okay, so next up we have got another Milner's Tower. Oh, yuck. Sorry guys. <laughs> Hope you're not eating your tea while you're watching this. And this one is from 2008. Another Isle of Man. And of course it is Milner's Tower. Another lovely design. Okay, let's put you down there. Okay, so next up is... Okay, so we've got a Battle of Gibraltar from 2004, wow. Just, God, I'm just in shock. I can't believe these, these have been thrown away to a charity shop. I can only assume that, that someone didn't know what these were or they've been thrown away by accident into like a charity shop bundle. So what, just what, look, 2004, Battle of Gibraltar. I mean, you're talking four to four, six, four to six quid, possibly even seven pounds for this. What? Oh, mate, this is this is just amazing. This is incredible. Okay, what else have we got next? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so next up we have got uh, Guernsey, I believe. Yep, and it's the the Freesia flowers from 1997. Oh, wow. What a beautiful coin. That's incredible. Let's put you down there, shall we? Okay, so the next coin we have got is Jersey. And this is, I believe, is it called the Grosnes Castle? Or something like that. I think it's Grosnes. I could be saying it totally wrong, but something like that. And again, a really nice coin, and that is from 2006. Jersey. Yeah, Gros, Grosnes Castle, I'm sure it's something like that. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but wow. Another lovely coin. Damn, let's put these little so I did. Okay, and the last one is, again, from 1997. We have another jersey and the Grosnes Castle, I think it is. I'll have to double check, but that's from 1997. Was that from 97? No, this was 2006. That one, and this is 1997. That's amazing. And let's put you down there. And that completes that little set down there. So far, we have got 20p's. Got the two 10p's there. All the territory 50p's down the bottom. Got three Olympics, triathlon, gymnastics, equestrian. And then just, um, yeah, we've got the Newton, WWF. Yeah, I think I've quite easily got my £20 back. And there's still some left in here, which is the pound coins. And I can't wait to have a look at them because uh, they are my favourite territory coins, are the old pounds. Uh, I think they still have round pounds over there, but it's so nostalgic um, just having a look at these. So the final six coins, let's have a look and uh, we'll, we'll see what we've got, shall we? So the first um, 
pound we shall be looking at. Let's have a quick look. Now, this is Gibraltar from 2006. Okay, we've got the skull. This is the Neanderthal. Is it the Neanderthal skull? I'm pretty sure there's other denominations with skulls on. Like this. I'm sure I've had the 20p before. I think I've still got it actually up there somewhere. But yeah, Neanderthal skull. That one. I think I'm sure it is. Yeah, ne Neanderthal. There we go. You can just see it. And it's a shame that side. Again, nothing too major. We've got a bit of discoloration, a bit of dirt. But again, another gorgeous coin. Oops, and I've just dropped it. You can't do a coin video without dropping a coin, can you? It's it's the rules. So let's put you down there. Okay, so the next one is... Oh, I've got the same again. You can just see the text on this a little bit better. Neanderthal skull. And that's from 2008 at Gibraltar. Can't believe we've got two of them. That's, that's mad. Neanderthal. I think I'm saying it right. It's a really nice coin. Again, a little bit grubby on this side. But nothing too major. That's really nice. Let's put you down there. So we've got two of them. That's brilliant. Okay, so next up we have got uh, yeah the Tyne World Hill, St John's Chapel, little pound, and that is from the Isle of Man, 2015. Again, a really nice design, and I, I'm sure I've got this in my collection. I'll just have to double check. I can't be sure, but again, another really nice coin, and it's in quite good condition as well. Again, a little bit of discoloration, but I'm pretty sure I'll just get a little microfiber cloth on these, I think. Give them a, just give them a little buff. Let's put you down there. That's that's really cool. Another really nice coin. This is crazy. Okay, next up, let's have a look. Okay, so next up again is oh here we go. The great the great siege again. So this is a 2004 Gibraltar. And I remember this gun. I remember laughter telling me something about this gun. Because I've got it again on this 10 pence piecelet. Just there. And I remember laughter telling me something about this. Now, without actually researching it myself, I'm sure laughter will um, enlighten me in the comments. But I'll have to Google this because he did tell me something about this gun on this coin. There's something about it. I just can't remember. Probably something about it firing downwards or something. I'm not quite sure. But again, it's a shame we've got some discoloration and, and some muck on the coin. But again, another really nice one to add to the collection. So let's put you down there. Okay, so the last two coins, we're getting down to this. Now, uh, so we've got the Millennium Bells from 2002. And that's Isle of Man. Again, a shame we've got a bit of dirt around the edges just there. I'm just wondering if this will clean up without damaging it too much. Again, I'll just possibly use a, a microfiber cloth. I won't damage these coins any more than they need to be. But to me, I do like coins in this uh, state, but they're so sticky. Yeah. That's really nice. 2002. Millennium Bells with the old legs. And the last coin of this is, again, is this? Yeah, M Millennium Bells again. And that is from 2000 this time. It's got the Isle of Man. 2000 Millennium Bells. That's incredible. Okay, and that is the box empty. Oh yes, look at that. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, I have to go and wash my hands in a minute, but oof, I don't know where to start with all this. This is just incredible. I mean, look at what we've got. A whole heap of territory coins, the 50p's. We've got a top five Olympic, Isaac Newton, WWF, not to mention the alphabet 10p. This has just been incredible, and it is quite possibly one of my favourite videos that I've ever recorded. I've had so much fun doing this, and it's the first time I've actually recorded a video with genuine surprise and not knowing what's going to be what. It's just amazing. And I can see why so many of you guys get excited when you're doing your coin hunts. And, and videos like this as well where you're just buying job lots of coins and you've just got no idea what's in there. It's amazing. And this is why it's worth the gamble. You've got to go out there. You've got to look. 
I mean, yeah, the coin hunts, they're fantastic. Love watching them, and I can't wait to get doing them myself. But again, I, I still don't say nothing beats sometimes just going out there, like, like Dan Temple does. Every shop, everywhere, just like 95% of the country reverse do. Just ask for coins wherever you can. Tell your friends, asking all the shops, ask all the cashiers. All they can say is no. They can either say yes or no, just keep asking, keep asking, and keep hunting. Never give up. If you give up, you're never going to find these fantastic coins. Just keep at it. And this is possibly, since I've started coin collecting, this is oh, one of my best finds. I mean, I usually get pick some good stuff up on car boots because there's so many uh, around my local area. But we've got a lot of charity shops too, and this one has paid off. This is fantastic. And I paid £20 for all this, and I think, yeah, I've got my money back. Oh, this is just mad. I'm, I'm in so much shock. I really am. And it's been quite difficult to record this video because the amount of times I've been out of breath. Um, looking at some of these coins, just fantastic. I've loved this. It's been fantastic. And I can't wait to show all of you all these exciting finds. Wow. Okay, now, if you did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Of course, if you want to leave me a comment in the box below, let me know if I've got any of these coins wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm just about there with all of them. Yeah, leave me a comment, that'll be fantastic. Of course, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'll be really cool as well. And if you press that notification bell, of course, you'll always be notified when I upload new videos just like this. All that's left me to say really is thank you so, so much for watching. Um, have a fantastic week. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look. Bye for now.